if you if, if you remember, what was our smoking back then? Kush. Um, luckily for me, you know what I mean? And, and like I said, this is this is way past the statute of limitations, so I can speak on this, like, like just because of who I was associated with at the time, it was like I got to skip the mid phase. You know what I mean? Like as when I first started getting high, like the first like the first blunt I spoke was some purple. That's why I was tripping. <laughs> <laughs> some purple shit. It was literally some purple shit. I remember looking at it when he was breaking it out in the weed. That's why I was like, don't you let that nigga roll that, that shit up in that goddamn blunt, bro. Cause hell no. Cause so it, you sit here telling me right now you never smoked me. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and cap and say I ain't never got hit with the okie doke and niggas told okay. me it was different like that. But me personally, I have never consciously took my money and said, hey, I got $5 for some week. No. It was always, I got five for your five so we can get some gas. You know what I mean? Like, nigga, like, won't know um, that Nick shit. I, I didn't even understand that. That was dead. Because it's crazy. So you, so you missed so miss the, the $3 bag of weed days. I was cut, not there for it. The, then, mind you, at 15, I had a traumatic experience with edibles, and I didn't even smoke for three years cold turkey. So no. high school, I didn't even smoke hey, what, what was the experience with the edibles? Because I see you do them now. All right, I'm I'm going I'm to give you the non-elongated version. Okay. Me and my friends, Lily, down the street from the crib, we sitting in the whip type shit. We sitting in the whip. Cooling, everything good. We listen to music. So you remember that song by Ron Browse that uh give me twenty dollars, give me twenty dollars. So this was around that time when that song was on the radio. So you can kind of guesstimate the time frame and when this was. So all you give me twenty dollars, give me twenty dollars. So I look in the back seat, it's a big ass bag of cookies this big. And I'm like, yeah, what, what's good with these cookies back here? She said, oh, no, nah, don't eat those. Those are my mom's special cookies. I'm like, what the, what the, what the fuck are special cookies? She so was like, uh, I'm not, I'm, I promise you, just don't. Just don't do it. I ate five of them bitches. Damn. Ate five of them bitches. Give me one second. I'm about to get right back to it. Give me one second. <laughs> oh, no. God damn. So boom. Big ass bag of cookies in the back seat. And mind you, I, 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 I've never seen a Ziploc bag this big before. So I'm just like, what's good? He was like, no, those are my mom's special cookies. I'm like, fuck you mean special cookies? They got weed in them. I'm like, like, mind you, in this day and age, hearing weed inside of something that wasn't, I'm like, man, you're stupid. I'm like, you just don't want me to have none. You're being selfish. <laughs> So I'm in the back seat. Give me twenty dollars. Oh, give me twenty dollars. <laughs> so she she, she peeped me eat the third one. She was like, "Yo, I know you ain't eating no cookies." Like, no, 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 you good. She seen me eat the fourth one. She was she ain't seen me eat the three of them. She ain't seen me eat the fourth one. She's like, "Hey, yo!" She grabbed the bag. So as she grabbed the bag, I grabbed the fifth one out the bag. As she was snatching the bag. Cause it was, I ain't gonna lie, man. I've never, to this day, I've never had a pastry bakery cookie that tastes like that day in my life, yo. To this day, <laughs> I, that's one thing I will remember very vividly. Never to this day. So I'm sitting in the car, still listening to the song, whatever. I ain't gonna lie, shit started getting trippy, yo. I'm sitting in the car. And I'm looking out the window, so you know how you see the leaves blowing, birds flying, shit chirping, neighborhood shit, right? I'm sitting there, and I'm, and I'm looking. All I hear is, give me $20. Give me $20. And it got quiet. So in my mind, I'm like, they cut the music off? So I look up. And they were sitting, she in the front seat, and her friend, my other friend was in the front seat. So they talking to each other, but it looked like they just, like, froze in time. Like, they just, like, mid, like, mid conversation, like, like, looking like, the fuck? And mind you, the radio had an equalizer on it. So that's how I was, you know what I mean? That's how I could keep telling what was going on. I'm looking. Equalizer just froze in one spot. So I'm like, I look out the window. <laughs> this is the part that fucked me up. Bird, midair, everything froze in place. And now I'm talking to myself in my head. I'm like, oh, nah, bro. Hell, nah. Was it really something in them cookies? 
Yeah, I don't know. Jesus got that now, man. You just psyching yourself out. So I shook my head like that, and it felt like it was like, like the record, the record got back on track. Give me two, and the music kept playing. They kept finishing their conversation. And I'm, I go back to look out the window. I look back, and now they both looking at me in the back seat, like, is you good? So apparently I must have been making a crazy ass face and didn't realize. Because <laughs> he's like, yo, is you good? I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm I'm straight. I think I'm gonna make my way to the crib though. Yeah, I'm good. So in my mind, I get out the car just like this. Regular. That's not what happened. <laughs> Why the fuck do I <laughs> Why the fuck do I open the door? You know, in my mind, I get out, we good. I, I close my eyes, I open my eyes again. I'm laying on the ground with my body halfway out the door, like face on the concrete type shit, bro. Like I felt like I just chipped out the car or something. Like I like so. Now my friend's like, is you good? Like, yo, there's no way you good. He's like, what the fuck are you doing? I'm looking up at them like, I'm straight. I just got them. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> like, at this point, I'm just like, I just need to get home. So they walking with me back down to the crib. And mind you, I'm like, maybe like three, four blocks from the house. So at the time, I had this scooter my mom bought me. It's called a dashboard scooter. So it got, you know, the little part where you stand at? It's the size of a skateboard, and it got mountain bike tires. But it's a scooter. You know what I'm saying? So just for you to describe what the hell I'm doing here. You know what I mean? It got, the, like, the front, like, the handlebars and the, and the tires is like a bike. But the scooter part is long like a skateboard's, like, board. I'm a, I'm pull up a, I'm pull up a picture of that shit after this interview so you can see exactly what I'm talking about, too. Just remind me. So I'm kicking down the street. This when shit started going down the rabbit hole. So my depth perception started getting fucked up. So imagine something maybe like 30, 40 feet away from me. That shit looked like it's like 10, 5 feet in front of me. So I'm pushing the scooter down the street. And now I'm just happy as a bitch for some reason. I'm just like, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm goddamn swer swerving on the scooter and shit. And there was a squirrel running across the street. That shit like two blocks down the street. In my mind, that shit was dead ass in front of the tire. I'm like, oh, shit. So I turned the scooter like this. I'm so high, I don't let go of the handlebars. I hit the curb. I literally flip over the scooter handlebars. Still holding on to the handlebars on some legit, like, ridiculousness shit, bro. Like, this little some shit you would see on, like, America's Funniest Home Videos, bro. Like, like, <laughs> like I literally did, like, a front flip over the scooter, but I never let go of the scooter. So the scooter, <laughs> like, <laughs> yo, it was bad. Mind you, my friends are still right here. They was like, this nigga, now at this point, they're like, oh, yeah, this nigga tripping. Yo, yeah, look, come on, yo, you good? I'm like, and I just keep telling them I'm straight. Like, y'all niggas, I keep acting like they tripping the whole time I'm bugged the fuck out. <laughs> I finally get to the house. <laughs> and this is where we get to the, the peak of the story here. So I, my grandma used to stay with us. So we used to have a ramp. So, you know, a handicap ramp, the incline ain't crazy because it's for a fucking wheelchair. In my mind, bro, that ramp looked like Mount Everest. Like, that shit looked like it was did a straight incline like this. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? So now, it take, why the fuck it take me 20 minutes to walk up the ramp to my house? I'm really walking up the business. Like, <laughs> like, holding on to the rail and everything, because I'm like, I'm tripping at this point, bro. Like, at this point, I'm acknowledging the fact that I'm fucked up. Like, I'm like, yo, I need to get in the house. So now I can finally get in the house. 20 minutes after being on the porch. Nigga, I walk in the house, my head leaning on the wall like this, like on some lazy <laughs> shit. Like, I can't even hold my body up, bro. Like, I'm walking in the house leaning like this. My mom's like, you you good? I'm like, mm-hmm. Like, I couldn't even respond. Like, my, I couldn't open my mouth, none of that. Like, like mm-hmm. When the room closed the door. Bro, so this is when the revelations and all that shit started coming. So I sit down on my bed. I'm like, all right, yo, you need to get yourself together, bro. This is not cool. This is this is not it. This is not the one. So I remember I was on this back when Facebook was like the only real thing nigga was on. It was past MySpace, but before Instagram. So Facebook on my laptop. And you know how you turn a pair of binoculars around and everything go like this? My vision started doing that. So I'm like, so I'm reaching out for the laptop and it feel like that shit is getting further and further away from me, even though I'm sitting on the bed. So I'm like, so then I just feel my body start falling backward. <laughs> yo. <laughs> <laughs> can't make this up, yo. So 
So my body started falling backwards. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? What the fuck? It literally felt like I was falling off a cliff, bro. It literally felt like I was literally falling off a cliff. I fell back on my bed. Now it feels like it's literally, like, what's that shit called when, um, sleep paralysis? Imagine that, but you awake. Like, I'm, I'm dead ass awake. I'm still conscious of what's going oh, on. But... It's lucid dreaming. Nigga, I'm like, nigga, I won't sleepy. Like, nigga, I'm wide awake. Like, I don't know what the fuck this was. I'm like, nigga, I'm laying on the bed like this. I'm like, oh my God, why the fuck can't I move? I'm trying to move my arms and shit. I'm like, oh no, I started. I ain't gonna lie. Your boy started to panic. I'm like, oh God. Oh no, not like this, yo. Know? Not like, no, 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 not like this. I can't go out like this, yo. I swear to God. So Lord, you feel you're gonna die? Bro, I, I, I ain't gonna lie. I literally thought I was about to die. Like, I literally started talking to the Lord. I'm like, Lord, please, yo. You just may see me through this, yo. I brought, yo, I ain't gonna smoke no more. I ain't gonna fuck bitches that smoke. I ain't gonna hang around niggas smoke. I don't know, man. I ain't gonna do none of that shit, bro. For real, yo. This shit ain't cool, yo. Come on, yo. Da, da, da. I went through all nine stages of depression. I'm like, yo, come on. And then I'm like, there's no way. Ain't no way. I'm the first nigga to die from a cookie, yo. Like, how am I gonna tell my mama this? <laughs> like, then I got angry. I'm like, come on, yo. This is bullshit, yo. Like, then I got mad. So then I, I was like, fuck that. Fuck that, yo. You stronger than this, yo. You ain't gonna go out like this. So I'm like, I started building myself up. Remind you, I'm still stuck to the bed. Nigga, I go to throw myself off my bed. Why the fuck I hit my head on the door? It just <laughs> get worse. <laughs> it just gets worse, bro. It gets fucking worse. So at this point, I, I had to black out. I'm not sure how long. I, it couldn't have been long, yo, because I, I then again, I'm not sure. So I look up and I'm like, I realize I'm on the floor in my room looking up at the ceiling and I'm like, Oh no, I can't even be in the house. Yo, I got I got to go back outside. <laughs> like there's no way. It's like now at this point I'm thinking about my mom. I'm like oh, nigga, she see me in here tripping. She called the fucking ambulance, the police, or something. I got to get out of here. So I go outside. All right. So this is the part that really fucked me up to the point where I almost had to think about whether or not these were edibles or not. Like I really thought her mom had put some other shit in these cookies, bro. So I get to the door. I open the door. So you see how I got glasses on, right? So imagine these lenses are all purple. Like, literally all purple. Purple everything. So when I open the door, everything is literally a shade of purple. Like, like all purple. Everything. Like, I like I cannot I cannot stress enough to you how purple everything was. I'm like, oh no, this can't be right. Oh no, 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 no. So I took my glasses off and I wiped my eyes. My these prescription. So wipe my eyes. Oh my eyes again. Why the fuck is everything red? Like the color of my hoodie red. So at this point, I'm scared to even do that anymore. I'm like, I don't know what the fuck's gonna happen. I'm like, I'm not doing that no more. We're just gonna go with red. So now at this point, that same ramp that felt like Mount Everest, I gotta walk back down. <laughs> I fall down the ramp like three times, bro, trying to walk. Like, I'm fucked up at this point, bro. Like, I am fucked up, bro. Like, bad. Like, it's bad, bro. Like, somebody... Would, I ain't gonna lie. In this day and age, if I would've saw... I would've thought that nigga was on... I would've thought I was on some dog, yo. I ain't gonna lie. I would've thought that nigga was on some dope. Like, I wouldn't have believed that was no edible, bro. Like, that's how crazy that shit was, bro. So now I'm walking down the street. I'm literally walking like I'm on a tightrope down the sidewalk, bro. Like, that shit was bad, bro. So I get... I maybe get, I finally get around the block. It took me like 30 minutes to walk like down to the end of the street and around the corner. My man see me, he was like, nigga, you good? I'm like, <laughs> I just shook my head. I couldn't talk, yo. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> that nigga ran across the street, yo. What's up, bro? That's all I can say. <laughs> so I went over to this nigga's house. He sat me on the porch. He brought me, I never forget it. And I still love this nigga to this day. My nigga Kai, yo. He brought me a jug of water and a loaf a whole week honey bread. And I sat on this nigga porch for two hours after that. Just just eating bread and drinking water on this nigga porch, yo. Just, just sitting here like this with the loaf of bread like a baby. Yo, just, niggas walking by talking to me. I'm not even responding. They were like, that nigga, he just needs some time. He good. So literally three years went by. So matter of fact, I might be able to time that out. That might have been around like 2007, bro. 2008.